Hey everyone. Okay, so today I want to talk about merged mining. Um, merged mining is an overlooked feature set of Bitcoin that allows miners to take a hash um, that is solving for the Bitcoin block and apply it to multiple chains concurrently. This was something Satoshi talked about in 2010. Um, Namecoin came along, turned it into a standard and ran with it. And today there are about 10 to 20 coins that are what are considered merge mined. And we want to know why is merge mining important? So merge mining is a potential solution to the, uh, the, the blockchain trilemma, which is balancing out scalability, decentralization, and security. Um, it allows a chain to take that hash rate and apply it to their own uh, algorithm. And it is a very elegant solution to what a lot of people are arguing today about what is ideal modular design theory. This data is a couple years old, but uh, the number of blocks that contained merged mined headers in them are very high. We're looking at about 90%. So today we're probably looking at about 100% of blocks that contain headers from side chains pegged to Bitcoin. And this is where things start to get interesting. Bitcoin has a longevity problem. There is a falling subsidy in the form of halvening every four years, and on-chain fees are capped. And so merged mining offers a potential third source of revenue to keep the security revenue of Bitcoin high. An example of this is Litecoin and Doge. Doge is roughly two to three times the profitability of mining Litecoin. And this is important because Bitcoin, in a proof of work paradigm, the network is only as secure as it is hard to attack. And the more revenue generated on chain, the, the more difficult it is to attack. And so merge mining is a key piece of Bitcoin infrastructure going forward. And part of what I'm here today to do with uh, my team, Syscoin, and a partner team of ours, Jax, is to raise awareness of this and get miners mining these side chains. It's additional profit for you. There's no extra cost. There's no overhead. There's no downtime risk. It doesn't increase complication of mining. It is money left on the table. And this is one of the key things that I think could fix the Bitcoin ecosystem in terms of how robust it is. Like if you look at Ethereum, Ethereum has tons of dApps. And it's really easy to run on Ethereum because it's state-based. But Bitcoin as a UTXO is very complicated to develop on. The, if you've been around since 2016, many of you probably remember the, the big block, small block wars. It was a debate about whether or not Bitcoin could exist as a payment system or as a store of value. And as we all know now, the small blocks won. We kept the block weight low, limiting the transactions on chain, and that, that fixed issues and concerns at the time with decentralization, but it has caused issues down the road that we must figure out and address. So this chart kind of talks about how the subsidy is falling and the inflation rate is becoming minimal. Uh, eight years from now, we are looking at a huge reduction in Bitcoin production and the price of Bitcoin must appreciate exponentially. We're probably talking a million dollars plus. And there's no guarantee of that happening. So this is something that I think is a very great solution. Bitcoin is also, merge mining also increases the ESG factor of Bitcoin by allowing you to get more money out of each, each um, kilowatt input into the Bitcoin mining system. And um, it's carbon neutral. And so, so merge mining today is not really known. Um, develop, it tends to be most familiar with developers. I've talked to some miners. Some of these guys seem aware of it. Most don't. 
It seems most pools mine to some degree, but they're not sharing this information with the miners that connect. Typically what was happening is these pools are collecting the coins on the back end and not really sharing it with you guys. So part of raising awareness about this is getting miners to reach out to these pools and start asking to merge mine these tokens. And this is where the Global Merged Mine Alliance comes into play. I'm a founder, co-founding with Jax, and what we're doing is we're creating a network that aggregates all the merged mine tokens and makes it accessible in one easy place to come and network, communicate, share research and knowledge, and build out Bitcoin as a thriving ecosystem. Some of the chains you might be familiar with, Rootstock, um, Stacks, those are big popular ones, um, but there's, there's a lot more. Syscoin itself is essentially Ethereum running on SHA-256. Oxpal, if you want to be technical, we bring byte-for-byte -byte EVM compatibility to Bitcoin and rollups, designed top-up for rollups. Our partner organization, JAX, is a layer one blockchain that allows you to burn Bitcoin and mint stablecoin. Um, there, we have algorithmic stablecoins, we have over collateralized stablecoins, we have under collateralized stablecoins. Everyone's trying to figure this out. JAX has a really novel solution by tying the, the stablecoin mint rate to the energy and hash input into the burn. And so that's how we control inflation on a stable coin that doesn't really require any big trade-offs. And again, I wanna reiterate, there's no cost. Overhead on this is very low. You're looking at setup in less than 12 hours, often just an hour plus blockchain sync time. You can mine multiple coins together and this allows for very very unique expression of software and ideas that are difficult to achieve otherwise. I also think this is interesting because um, Ethereum switching to proof of stake. Um, there's not gonna be a big proof of work market after this. Proof of work tends to be winner takes all. There's, if, if you have multiple small proof of work chains, it increases systemic risk to the chain. So this allows proof of work to build out inside chains pegged to the Bitcoin hash rate. This is, this is free. We're leaving this on the table. We're not exploring this. And this is something that I'm asking you guys to come to the booth. And if you're interested in this, let's talk about this. Um, there's a lot of potential here. We're doing very cool things. And I'm really excited to share it with you guys. Feel free to come by the booth. We've got a lot to talk about. Thank you, everyone.